Welcome to Tech Report. I'm Kate Williams. Well, Diaz is an Australian company leading the worldwide race as to the first to develop a Zigbee certified electric vehicle charger. It's expected that by 2020, the electric vehicle charger market will be worth over $1.15 billion. For more on this, we are joined by one of the founders of Diaz, Joe Lucino. Joe, thanks so much for your time. Do appreciate it. First of all, people might be unfamiliar with this. You're just going to, to have us to, to, to talk us through the technology sure, behind it. Sure. So, um, well, I guess Diaz Computing is a technology company. Um, electric vehicles is an emerging market and Charge IQ, which is the technology we've been mm -hmm. uh, um, working through with the Victorian government over the last two years, is an electric vehicle charging solution. So right. it, um, it supports the electric vehicle owner in charging their car and charging it like at the Like a Prius, price. for example? For example, okay. a Prius or a Nissan Leaf mm -hmm. or a Mitsubishi IMF. Okay, interesting. And so your company is developing the, the technology behind the charger that can Correct. be used for these vehicles. How currently do, do people go about charging these vehicles? Yeah, pretty simple. So the charging um, technology effectively is connected to your home electricity right. uh, meter, um, if you like, and also you have a plug which plugs directly into the car. So there's a particular plug that uh, is standardised mm -hmm. by all the vehicle manufacturers and you plug that in. And at the right time, when the uh, price is the cheapest, according to the Charge IQ technology, uh, your car will start charging. Okay, and you're going to change this by making it easier for people to do it elsewhere? Yeah, so I guess there's a couple of things that um, the Charge IQ technology that right. we've developed allows us to do. One is that um, it allows us to shift the charging or the use of electricity to a time when it's one, most convenient for the Householder, right. but two is the cheapest okay. on the market. So a future world will see the utility companies really offering incentives and ways for us to reduce our costs on the basis of shifting when we use electricity. And so Charge IQ encompasses all that technology. Yes. Whilst we've used that for electric vehicles, it could be applied to any appliance in the home, any large, um, high electricity drawing appliance. And how long has it taken to develop the technology? Oh, we started this journey well over three years ago, really. Um, I guess we've had a long history in the energy sector and in electricity, in the industry mm -hmm. of electricity. So we started to look at what the future of electricity would hold. And uh, yeah, we started this journey over and, three years and ago. And what's your background? As in the company itself? Or, or your background? My background? Mm. Uh, no, well, I'm a technologist uh, at yes. heart. I still uh, dabble in you know, making sure technology can be applied to business. Yes. Um, but yeah. Uh, computer science graduate and I've uh, been working in the IT industry for over 20 years now. And what attracted you to, to this idea? Well I guess um, DIA since its inception has been working with utilities and, and the electricity industry so um, we have a good knowledge of that market but really I guess we've had a vision for what the future electricity market might be able to do for consumers primarily and, and you know the cost, the rising cost of electricity is always a big issue so we're applying our technology expertise to helping consumers. And have you looked at, at teaming up with any, any any heavy hitters I guess in the market? Yeah well I guess that's where we're at right now. Um, mm. The technology has been in the field for over two years um, as part of the Department of Transport's electric mm. vehicle trial and we are really now looking to take the Charge IQ to the rest of the world and really to you know, as many parts of uh, the electric vehicle movement as we can. Okay, Joe Lucino, thanks so much for joining us on Tech Report. Great, thanks Kate.